Well, I've decided I would like to do some building projects of Native American areas because I don't see any much and because they need to be represented, I think. Got great building materials for it. So leaving the Hamas Forest Lumber Camp, I have a railroad track now, by the way, that goes all the way from my spawn and jungle tree house all the way out here to the camp. There's a valley between the lumber camp and the railroad crossing over by the Hamas Springs Oasis. And I think I would like to not build an imitation of Hamas Pueblo. Here's the valley. But sort of like, what if Hamas Pueblo people lived in Minecraft? How would they uh, build their settlement? We do have a problem with the jungle, which I'm going to have to do something about. Maybe make a fake mountain or something to disguise it and cut down the tallest trees. This is a very distinctive rock formation at MS. I'd like to reproduce it. Not up there, but nearby. Um, so this just gives you an idea of the valley. There's the jungle side. I may mask it with a little bit of Jemez pixel art based on Jemez art design. Here's what the Jemez Pueblo looks like, according to their tourist website. And it'll go somewhere down in there. Uh, I don't know how authentic or well I can replicate it, but we will try. I've already been collecting materials. I have clay. I'm going to use some lapis to... I'm going to use different colors, like different colors of wool and so on, to uh, sort of imitate the colors of turquoise. I'm uh, planning to go to the nether. Once 1.5 is out and there's nether quartz and so on, I don't want to mess up the nether yet, but look how much clay I've been collecting, gravel, sandstone, to try to replicate the sedimentary and clay uh, geology of the area. I've got plenty of space to work, and it is close to the railroad track, so it should be pretty easy to get back and forth. So I've already been collecting materials. Here is where it's located on a map. There's some wet and dry river beds that I will be trying to reproduce. I don't know how well I'll do, but you can look up Famous Pueblo on the internet and find out all kinds of stuff about it. And there's a diagram of the actual settlement. Um, it, mine's going to be a little bit more square. Here's one of the churches. I'm even going to try to replicate the repairs where that um, facade has broken and been repaired. These are ancient dwellings of the Anasazi people, you see that originally the buildings were made of stacked and mortared stone. And I'm going to be using a lot of that rather than the adobe style of the Spanish because obviously it's a lot easier to use stone blocks than to try to replicate adobe. Let's give you more idea of the geography of the place. I'm going to try to reproduce those little piñon trees too. They're actually little cedars, but they're evergreen. So I'll be using the dark uh, spruce wood and so on and leaves to try to replicate that. Some more idea of the geology of the area so you know what I have to reproduce. A dry riverbed. This should be really hard. This gives you an idea of what the Pueblo looks like on the inside. Use little half slabs for that overhang. I can't remember what these are called. It starts with an O. But these are stoves that the Pueblo people out here have adopted from the Spanish make their own bread and tortillas and so on. I'd like to replicate that mural if I can. And see, I'm going to get to use lots of ladders. And, and there's the visitor center. So this is my next big project is a replication of the Pueblo of Jemez. I even have some music. You can hear it in the background. And I'll put links to the artist in the description. Bye.